Here comes the rest of our lives WNY, 90.9 FM. That was Graham Colton with Best Days. And I uh, hope you're listening right now, because we actually have him on the phone right now. Um, can you hear me, Graham? I can. Thanks for having me on. Uh, sorry, can you hear that? Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, thank you for coming. How are you ju- today? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, let's start by talking about your new album, Pacific Coast Eyes, which is due for release next month. Um, yep. It's been nearly four years since your last album. Why so long? Oh, I mean, a couple reasons. I mean, I um, I released a couple EPs. Well, more than a couple, actually. I released an EP uh, called the 20-something EP, which um, uh, was, you know, kind of songs that, that started out as demos for the new album, and I just thought it would be a good idea to, um, you know, have the fans hear kind of what I'm doing in the process. Um, and I released a bunch of digital EPs as well, only through my website. And um, it was kind of a good way to, you know, pump them out, but give me enough time to really focus on making a new album. Because, I mean, for me, it's um, it's not as easy as just sort of going into the studio for a couple weeks and pushing the record button, you know? Yeah. Um, it's, I write, you know, well over a hundred songs per album and wow. you just kind of hope that you know you get 12 or 13 that kind of flow together and work and what I think is best than the last one you know it must be really hard to uh, narrow it down from 100 to 12 isn't it well yeah I mean it's 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 hard but it's also easy in a way because there's always something kind of as I listen to a song that that kind of tells me it just doesn't quite get there or it's just not quite honest enough or it doesn't you know gel with the rest of them um so you know a lot of the songs I really believe in um that just didn't feel right for the album i put on these eps that are available on my website and it was just, like again it was kind of a cool way to just you know show people the different types of songs that i write during the process that kind of shape and mold the album any plans for uh, <clears throat> releasing any more EPs in the future as part of that yeah, series I, mean, I, I think it's been a fun process and um, you know uh, it's also kind of a um, a neat thing you know because I'm an independent artist again for the first time in a very long time and um, being on a major record label you know I, I wouldn't have been able to do that I wouldn't have been able to release songs that yeah. uh you know, that weren't polished and, you know, recorded perfectly. And um, I, I think it's, it's been a nice it's been a nice thing for me, and hopefully people are into it. So, yeah, maybe, maybe more EPs in the future. I, I certainly want to focus on the new record coming up, but, you know, I think I'm always writing songs, so... Yeah, well, so I, I want. look forward to that if that happens. Um, has your sound changed at all in this new album? Well, I hope so. I mean, but, you know, it, it, it's an interesting question to, to I mean, because I ask myself that all the time. It's like, do I want to, do I want my sound to change or do I want it to just evolve or do I want to try some new things? I mean, I, I do think there's a balance there. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. I always try to have a balance of, of you know, um, hopefully evolving and growing, but not, you know, not too much to where it, it's, it's kind of a, oh, you know, it, it's it's not easy to digest. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, ho- I hope that this, I, I think this album is is a great balance. I actually think that this album reminds me more of my um, Graham Colton Band album from 2004 than probably anything else I've ever done. It, it's definitely got more of a kind of an open feel. Yeah. Um, we I really took the to kind of less is more on this album. And... Um, you know, I, I took the recording uh, in mind of just trying to, to, you know, have the album feel like uh, I could go out and play it live at any time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
the title track of the album is the first single of it, right? Correct. And you just released a music video for it recently? Yeah. And uh, what's the story behind that song? Is there any like special story behind it? Yeah, I mean, um, it was the last song that I wrote for the album. I thought it was done. I thought the record was done. And we were mixing. And um, I was staying at uh, my brother's uh, apartment in Los Angeles, you know, kind of waking up every day for a week going to mix the album. And um, he uh, he had this bulletin board with just, you know, newspaper clippings and magazine clippings and album covers and stuff. And he had this really random album cover from uh, the, the drummer for the band The Beach Boys um, named Dennis Wilson made this very obscure uh, album. I guess it was in the early 70s, late 60s. I'll have to, I, I forgot, but it's, it was called Pacific Ocean Blue. And it was this really cool album cover. I just kind of saw it on the bulletin board, and I just was like, oh, man, that's, that's a really neat, you know, album cover, and kind of has this classic California thing happen. And, and then I just sort of started humming this, this melody. Um, and, you know, I... I I'm a songwriter, so I write a bunch of different songs, and I, you know, uh, I guess what I'm saying is I write a bunch of stuff not only for my album, you know, for other artists, yeah. other opportunity TV shows. And as I started, you know, singing and playing what is now Pacific Coast Eyes, I didn't really think that it was right for me because it just felt different. It felt kind of, I don't know, I don't know how we had to describe it. It felt so different. It just <laughs> did. Um, but once I really kind of finished it and finished the lyrics I, I brought it to my producer Tommy Walter and and he took it to the next level and just said we have to record this song and so it kind of changed everything you know it kind of yeah. tipped it kind of tipped the album to be honest I mean it, the album kind of felt one way before Pacific Coast dies and then obviously it it really uh, gave the album kind of a new feel so I'm assuming you didn't have the album title until the song was finished? I, you know, I really didn't. Um, but it, it honestly, I mean, I had already done, like, some, you know, some photo shoots and, like, art direction for the video, or for the uh, uh, for the album before I wrote Pacific Coast Eyes. And it was amazing how when I wrote the song, you know, it all just kind of, the whole vibe of the entire project just changed, you know, and it yeah. kind of, the album felt lighter and felt kind of more warm and open and um, and I'm obviously so thankful that it happened because it just I don't know I, I think it's it's um, it's kind of nice to you know to have a song you know like Best Days on the last album that um, you know hopefully pulls at your heartstrings but this one is just you know I wanted to have a little bit more fun on this album yeah. and I hope that Pacific Coast dies make people just feel good when they listen to it it does makes me at least <laughs> thanks <laughs> um back to what you're saying about also writing for other artists you recently wrote a song with gin blossoms didn't you yeah yeah i wrote um a song with them for their uh new album and um it's the first it's single from it too was it, right yeah yeah it's interesting because the song that i wrote you know i wrote it a few years ago and you know it's kind of crazy how you write a song years back and then it kind of you know comes back around which is cool yeah um what other artists have you written songs with who else yeah just a um, few you know I write a lot with Kevin Griffin from the band Better Than Ezra mm -hmm. um, and he's now a very prolific songwriter as well I've written a song for Howie Day's last album oh nice um I've uh you know collaborated with a lot of different you know artists who are also songwriters Richard Marks uh, was was a really great experience. Oh, that uh, must have been cool to do. Yeah, and the song that we wrote together uh, called Take You Back was on my last album, and he oh, also recorded a, a version of the album. Um, and I wrote a song uh, not too long ago for an Australian artist who actually was the Australian idol, named <laughs> Shannon Cole. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. It's fun to, to think that, you know, I can go write a song and, and it... It might not be right for me, but some, it might be perfect for somebody else. <laughs> Were you a songwriter for like people before you actually performed songs yourself? No, with like no, the no, Grand I mean, Poland band. This is 
that's definitely you know having other artists perform my songs or even be interested in songs that I write is, is a brand new thing for me and I hope mm-hmm. that it's you know there's more to come but I'm, I'm definitely just getting my feet wet with, with that whole process because it's it's definitely a new one 